What's up guys? I've got this kind of old TDI here that uh, my buddy Tom down at Cartboy, uh, where they make N-Links for Subarus, uh, is paying for his employee to get this car done as a little bonus. Pretty cool boss. So we've got this door split in two, as you can see, pretty swirly on both sides. Uh, and we are going to do a little test of a microfiber cutting disc from Meguiar's versus the finishing disc. Uh, I'm using this older beat up disc just to kind of show you what happens when you uh, don't give your pad a rest. The, they heat up and then the backing starts to separate. Now that doesn't mean you can't use that pad as I'm going to use it anyway, but uh, I recommend uh, giving it some cool down time in between. So the microfiber cutting disc is uh, going to cut more defects generally, uh, harder defects as well. Uh, the microfiber uh, finish or cutting disc from Meguiar's are made for maximum efficiency. Um, their interface offers controlled conformability, uh, and the microfibers adapt to the curves and contours, which I can definitely say is true, um, for to distribute abrasives evenly for efficient cutting. Uh, now, if you notice, I just blew out my pad with a tornador that you could barely see uh, because I didn't realize that I wasn't on camera for that part. And uh, so that's to get all the dust and everything out. Even though I washed these pads in the washing machine last night, there's still always dust. Uh, you'll see what I mean uh, on the microfiber finishing disc, which I intentionally did not blow out so I could show you what happens uh, even though you've washed your pad in the washing machine. So I'm going to cut this little section here with the finishing disc. I believe the paint on this door is OEM. We know that the other side has uh, repaint so my other employee is having fun struggling to cut all of the sanding defects and body shop defects out of that side. I don't feel envious of him. Um, so your cutting disc is going to be usually what you grab first to remove heavy defects before you go out with finishing. Most of the time a foam pad isn't really going to do much for like a heavily swirled vehicle. So as you can see that got rid of quite a lot of the heavy defects that were there before. Uh, if this wasn't a flaky paint you'd see the DA haze left behind which is what we would finish out later. So we're going to wipe that on and then move over to the next section for the microfiber finishing disc. Uh, I'm using Shine Supply Classic Cut with this. Here's a little bit better view with it wiped down. Uh, with Classic Cut, you put about two drops of product on and it breaks down fairly quickly and absolutely destroys swirls. So I love that stuff. I highly recommend it uh, for cutting. So now I'm going to go and put my finishing disc on my DA here. Uh, this is a 5 inch. Uh, my root base is a 21 with a 5 inch adapter. Uh, so we're going to put, again, two small drops of classic cut on here. And go at it again. The finishing disc sometimes, uh, on certain finishes, can actually finish out very nicely with no haze. And sometimes it's great for just a light cut. See all that dust that just came out? This thing is fresh out of the washer using a uh, one of those microfiber wash solutions from a detailing company. And as you can see, it didn't do jack shit for all the dirt that was in my pad. So you, it's or not dirt, dust, sorry. So all that old compound dust from the last time I used this just flew all over the car. That gets really annoying uh, when you're trying to keep the car dust free or it's the first pad you turned on and all of a sudden you've got uh, dust all over the vehicle. So the microfiber finishing discs are very soft, uh, designed to be used with dual action and orbital machines, uh, and they make short work of final polishing and waxing. Um, it is also designed to remove light swirling or oxidation on its own, uh, and they've been optimized for use with Meguiar's finishing wax, uh, which I think is still a product that's out there. <laughs> Uh, and they work fairly well. I didn't know how to use these for a really long time the right way, and I learned recently how to. And as you can see, that actually cut out a fair amount of defects. If you look closely, you might not be able to see it from this video. There are more like kind of tick marks and stuff left behind uh, and some heavier defects that weren't removed. But on this particular paint finish, it did a pretty great job just at cutting. So if you're not trying to go super aggressive, uh, try out a finishing disc first to cut with, and then maybe you just do a quick polish with a foam pad like I've got right here. Uh, this is a Griot Garage foam pad, and I've got Classic Polish, which from Shine Supply a little bit goes a long way. This one little drop is going to finish out this door nicely uh, for both sections. I'm going to turn the speed down to about 3 for this and get going. 
So what's cool about Shine Supply Classic Polish is it actually has more abrasives in it than most final polishes. Uh, but as you break them down, it starts to finish out a lot nicer. So you really have to work Classic Polish down, but it'll get rid of a ton of defects, even on a soft pad, uh, and it'll remove nearly all of the DA haze in most applications. But if you don't break it all the way down, you might face some of the issues uh, where if you spray it with a powerful panel prep, it might bring back some of the haze. So I also have kind of a theory, which don't hold me to it. I don't know if it's true, but I feel like, as you, can, as you saw, I moved from one side to the other uh, instead of putting a new drop on. I feel like now when you break down Classic Polish uh, and then you move to another section, that it, since it's broken down already, it just starts to finish out a lot nicer, especially if there weren't heavy uh, defects left behind from your microfiber pad that really needed a lot of uh, the abrasive from Classic Polish. I could just be talking gibberish right now. I'm not really sure but I feel like I've noticed that. <clears throat> uh, so I just wanted to share that with you guys because I sometimes feel like uh, when you use what's left of it on the pad that it tends to do a better job on some of the later panels. So here you go. We've got a nice view here of how everything looks. There's still some defects left behind um, and both sides for the most part look pretty equal, uh, but there are some deeper scratches that it look like the uh, finishing disc wasn't able to take out. And that's normal, uh, but the finishing disc is a great tool. Next time we get a black car, I will do a video with the finishing disc again. Here's the final result uh, after this thing was corrected and coated. Uh, it looks phenomenal. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry it couldn't be longer. Um, so give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you liked it. And then we will catch you next time.